guys, thanks for stopping in. I don't cook fish very often on this channel, and that's because I've gotten kind of spoiled. The Petaluma River is about a mile from me, and every once in a while I'll catch a nice striped bass out of there that's big enough to eat. And these striped bass are such good tasting fish that it's hard for me to go buy store-bought fish anymore. So um, yesterday I went fishing and I actually got lucky and caught one. So today I'm going to try cooking it in my toaster oven. So let's get toasting. These fish have to be 18 inches to keep legally. And this one was perfect size, about 18 and a quarter. So this one is the perfect size for eating. Now, I filleted this last night, and when I filleted it, you uh, cut the ribs out of there, and there was actually uh, quite a bit of meat on the ribs, and I thought, you know, it's kind of a shame to waste that meat. These are such good tasting fish that I uh, just sprinkled a little bit of this mild barbecue rub on, on those ribs, and I stuck them in my toaster oven, and it tasted really good, so I thought, you know what? I've never tried cooking fish this way, but I'm just gonna try sprinkling the fish with the same mild barbecue rub. This is Kinder's. And I'm um, just baking them in the toaster oven and see how they are. I think they ought to be pretty good. Well, these fish, they turn out good almost any way I cook them. So uh, I think this ought to be good. We'll just put them in the toaster oven and show me, but take maybe 10, 15 minutes and they'll be ready to eat. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll get the fish in there. And I did put some foil down just so it won't stick or for easier cleanup. And I did put some oil on the foil so hopefully the fish won't stick to it. I'll just keep an eye on that and cook it till it looks flaky. It's been about 15 minutes, so let's see how the fish looks here. Kind of curling up you can see it bubbling away i think that's done i'm gonna get it out of there i can't wait to try this i've caught quite a few different types of fish over the years and um, of all the fish i've ever caught and tried the striped bass is my favorite look how moist that is and flaky let's try it oh man that is so good it's just excellent I just love this striped bass. I guess you could cook any type of fish fillets this way, but it's just not going to compare to this striped bass, but you could do any type of fish this way. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.